we go. Well, good morning and welcome back to City Line. We are in our final fabulous segment. And with me right now are two individuals that if you were around to watch the uh, PSA, uh, it is all about the Tacoma Dome documentary. Please join me in welcoming Jackie Scott. You are with the Tacoma Dome Jury of Recommendation. And you have a lovely nickname we're going to get to here in just a minute, but welcome to City Line, my dear. Thank you. It's great to have you here. You brought with you Mr. Bryson Foster, CEO and co-founder of Foster's Creative. You've been in Tacoma for quite some time. I've never had you on the comfy couch. Welcome, my friend. Hey, thanks so much for having me. It's, this has got to be the first of many and great hats. By the hey, way. thank you. Let's love have some it. fun. Shout out ETC. There we go. We love. I've had them on the comfy Wonderful. couch. Wonderful. They are great. So, Miss Jackie, this year the Tacoma Dome celebrates 40 years. Rod Kuhn was just in that seat, and we saw that there was another dome back in the 1800s that held aluminum. Um, but you've been referred to, and here's that special nickname, as the mother of the Tacoma Dome. Tell us more about your role in making that Tacoma Dome a reality. Thank you for asking. You're welcome. Um, the city of Tacoma residents and voters voted to build a building, which became the, called the Tacoma Dome. And in that, after the vote, 70% approval rating, which never happens with bond issues. No, it does not. It had failed in the county before at 35%. More like it. The city then realized they had to build something. And so they did their research and determined to use design build as a process that gets you what you want. Mm. And Part of that process in a, when it's in, in the public arena is that there are, it's a committee or whatever you want to call it, of individuals who are between the construction side and the elected and city side and represent more of the community. And I was appointed to what was called the jury of recommendation. And I was, I'm, wasn't, still am, uh, the only woman. Yes, thank you for saying that. And so they, somewhere down the road in something, I got the title mother. Mother. And, you know, I, I wanted to be something stronger than mother. But, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, and the jury's role was so integral to the success of the dome. Mm -hmm. Get it, and we were, and remember, it was built on time and on budget. That's because there was a mother of yeah. the Tacoma Dome, well, no, as but, opposed to and, the father. And, <laughs> and, six, and six guys. Six guys, one woman. There yeah. we go. So, Jackie, it really was a grassroots effort to get the dome of our own built, as we call it. Looking back, as the only woman in the jury of recommendation, what are you most proud of when it comes to this process? That it works so well. I mean, it, it, I, there's, you know, there, and that's why I think that process of building what everybody that's building big projects sit yes. as a public should look at it and I there was commitment from the mayor the city manager everybody in the city you know the hierarchy and that all the jury members were committed to it right and do or die and it was the jury never had a chair. Wow. We said we can do this. Fred Pritchard, who was the president of Mary Bridge at the time, and on his way to creating multi care, yes. uh, was our spokesperson, if we let him talk. <laughs> uh, and the city staff were able to focus on what their work was, not who's doing what. 
and it made it a lot easier for the elected people to make decisions when they had a, a, something presented to them that had been processed and vetted by the jury. Exactly. Yeah, took and, all the guesswork out of it. Yep, and and t take some of the heat if they didn't That's like right. it. That's right. That's right. So Bryson, over 40 years, over the past 40 years, wow, unforgettable moments on Memories Have Shaked, uh, this iconic venue's legacy. Foster Creative has a monumental task, or they had a monumental task, of capturing this in a documentary. Tell us ultimately how this became a community project, because this is a huge undertaking. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, I think that the the dome has been a community project through the years from you know inception to developing and then the launch of the dome it truly has been a community project and so uh, for us it was really important that we found opportunities to include uh, community stories and experiences um, and so uh, we worked with our network and our partners to find um, uh, community stories of folks who had experiences like graduation or or many people mentioned monster trucks and, yes. and uh, all the experiences that have happened through the dome over the last 40 years. Let's roll some video so you can, yeah. do, we can do it simultaneously. Sure, yeah. Yeah, okay, here we go. All right, oh my gosh, look at this. What are we looking at? The ground opening. Look, oh my goodness, I have never seen that shot before. Oh, that's, yeah. that's the bean bean sign. That's one of the most interesting parts of the whole story. Sure. There's up to 6,000 folks who have signed that beam oh uh, that gosh. is up in the dome. And Jackie, you're in that crowd someplace. I'm in that crowd. You are. And w were you on the ground or up in the balcony? I was on the ground. And there, here we're showing some, uh, of course, high school football will never There's be me. the same. There you are. Yep. Now that was Jackie. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Look, hockey. <laughs> Oh my god, I mean look at this. This is incredible. The glove. Oh, Deadless Shrimp. Deadless Shrimp. <laughs> oh my god. I mean You're a true Sonics fan if you know Deadless Shrimp. You sure are. You have to know. And of course, my daughter graduated in the dome, and here's the first person ever. Little known David Bowie. Yeah, at the time. First rock concert. First rock concert ever. Came in Because we're talking the serious moonlight. Yes. That is it. And that, of course Garth Brooks. Oh. Oh my gosh, look at this. And all the folks that have had this experience, these experiences through the last 40 years, thousands and thousands of experiences, that's what makes the Dome special and what will continue to make the Dome special. How do, how do you pick, ultimately, those projects? Because as far, I mean, Jackie's here with us. Yeah. She's one of the original jury recommendations. Absolutely. I don't know about the, the other six. Right. <laughs> if, if they have any say, but... I mean, when I think about my history of the Dome, the Dome is woven so much throughout my high school sure. and my adult years, years of living in Tacoma for 28 years. There isn't a moment the Dome hasn't been a part of it. Yeah. Well, you know, we had uh, a great team in uh, the Tacoma Dome uh, staff and our team at Foster's Creative who worked very hard on the project. And uh, it's, it's the most difficult part of the entire project is, is seeing how many we can fit into yes. one 20 minute video. This could be 25 20 minute videos to truly tell the in-depth you know, story of uh, what the Tacoma Dome means to, to the city of Tacoma. Uh, and uh, one of our goals with the project was have as many people involved in the project as possible right before diluting the vision. <laughs> so that it does feel like the Dome feels, which is a tapestry of Tacoma stories and experiences. I like that. Tapestry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it absolutely is. What part of this process has been the most fun? I mean, I don't think editing is fun, right. what I know about editing. But yeah. besides that, what has been the most fun for your agency? Well, I'd say, first off, shout out to our team, a particular uh, one of our teammates, Caden, who has been at the wheel editing and being a fantastic contributor to the project as well as others. Um, you know, the, the most fun learning, mm -hmm. um, uh, I think our team has uh, feeling the great privilege of being able to work on a project like this mm -hmm. um, and really just learning more and more uh, and uh, deepening our relationship to Tacoma. Yeah, boy, that that is a perfect answer right there because it deepened my relationship with Tacoma, looking at what the dome means to me. Sure. 
Jackie, as we look forward, what legacy do you hope the Tacoma Dome has for that next generation of Tacomans? Well, I, I think um, I want them to be proud that they own it yes. and that the citizens of Tacoma, those who weren't even born yet, that live here, people who've moved here, that it's yours yes. and that it's yours and you can be proud because yep. it is vital to our city. And it is economic development has sprung off of the yes. fact that sure. we have a Tacoma Dome. Absolutely. And Hollywood discovered us through yeah. the Tacoma Dome. Yeah. And uh, the legacy I have is to think about the dome as your own. Mm -hmm. mm. And to realize when they ask you to vote for a bond issue, to refurbish it, fix mm -hmm. it, whatever it needs to say Keep yes. Keep it pristine. Yeah. I love that. Bryson, let's talk in this last 20 seconds. Uh, when can we see the documentary? What is the date? Yeah. How do we get tickets? August 16th. Okay. Uh, go to, um, you can go a no, number of places. You can go to the Tacoma Dome's website. Yes. And uh, you can uh, RSVP for tickets. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say one thing to keep in mind as you as you prepare yourself to come and watch this, the title for this film is "It's the Dome," <laughs> and and what it, what it really meant for us as we work through that is is regardless of the history, uh, the background, mm -hmm. how it came to be, and and what it is now, the reality is, guys, it, it's common sense. It it's is. it's the dome. This so is what this is. I want to say thank you for making it the dome. And also for this documentary. Thank you both so, so very much. I have to say goodbye now, but all good things must come to an end until they start again. So Absolutely. thank you so very thank much. Thank you. Thank you. That wraps up another great segment of City Line. It is always a pleasure and a privilege to be in your home. We've given you a lot of things to think about in this past hour. So please go out there, be a part of the tapestry, pay it forward. And when you come back, as always, we'll be waiting for you right here at City Line. Take care. Thank you.